Hey, this is Tushar and today we are going to talk about Gale Shapley algorithm. To understand what Gale Shapley algorithm is, let us consider an example. The example would be about a self-enforcing process through which college students would be applying for summer internships in companies. The application process would be an interplay between two different type of parties, the company or the employers and the student or the applicants. Each applicant would have a preference ordering of the companies. That is, they would have already decided which company they would prefer over other companies. As well as, the companies would even have preference ordering of its applicants. Based on these preferences, companies would be extending offers to some of their applicants and the applicants would then choose which offer to accept and which offer not to. Gale and Shapley were the people who considered the sort of things that could go wrong with the process. So exactly what could go wrong with the process? For instance, let us take an example to understand what could go wrong. Raj has accepted the job at Cisco. Now Microsoft offers job to Raj and Raj prefers Microsoft over Cisco. So what will he do now? As Raj prefers Microsoft over Cisco, he would reject Cisco and would prefer Microsoft over it. Kiran, who has now an offer from Cisco, is already working for IBM. But she accepts the job offer at Cisco as she prefers Cisco over IBM. Deep, who is now working for IBM, calls up to Microsoft and asks if he can join them. Microsoft prefers Deep over Raj and accepts Deep and rejects Raj. Now situation like these creates a chaos and both the applicants and the employers would be unhappy with the process. As well as, as we can see, the process is not self-enforcing and the people are not allowed to act in their own self-interest. So how does Gale and Shapley found a solution for this? Well, according to Gale and Shapley, if there is a set of preferences among employers and applicants, we can assign applicants to employers for every employer E and every applicant A who is not scheduled to work for E, at least one of the following two conditions should hold. Either E prefers every one of its accepted applicants to A or A prefers her current situation over working for the employer E. If any one of these conditions hold, the outcome would be stable. Now in our current situation, each applicant is looking for a single company and each company is looking for many applicants. And also each applicant does not typically apply to each and every company. So what else we could think about? So let us take another example where there are N men and N women who can end up getting married. In this case, Everyone is seeking to be paired with exactly one individual of the opposite gender. Say, capital M is a set of N men and capital W is a set of N women. M cross W is a set of all the possible ordered pairs of M comma W from the sets capital M and capital W. Now to talk more about the example that we took, we should be familiar with some of the terminologies. The first terminology would be matching. A matching set S is a set of ordered pairs each from M cross W with the property that each member of M and each member of W appears in at most one pair in S. That is, no member of the set capital M or the set capital W can appear twice. Perfect matching. A perfect matching is similar to matching but with an extra point. What is the extra point? Well, a perfect matching is a way of pairing men with the women in such a way that everyone ends up getting married to somebody. That is, there is no singlehood and nobody is married to more than one person. That is, there is no polygamy allowed. And the last but not the least, the next terminology is instability. Now to understand instability, let us take an example. Say there are two pairs, M, W and M, dash, W dash in S with the property that M prefers W dash to W and W dash prefers M to M dash. Well, the pair M comma W dash is an instability with respect to S. And note, with respect to S is an important keyword here. That is, M comma W dash, according to the properties given above, creates an instability with respect to S as it does not belong to the pairs present in S. Our goal is to get a set of marriages with no instability. So how is the matching S stable? 
well a matching s would be stable if it is a perfect match and there is no instability with respect to the given matching s this is another example to show how the matching works and according to this example you can see that it is possible to have more than one instances of a stable matching now let us move forward to see how to design the algorithm designing the algorithm can be broken down into three basic steps the first step being consider initially that everyone is unmarried the second step being a state in which some men and some women are engaged and some of them are not engaged the algorithm will finally terminate when no one is free now let us see how gale and shape represented their algorithm as you can see initially they considered all m belonging to the set capital m and w belonging to the set capital w are free and while there is a man m who is free and hasn't proposed to each and every woman we will choose such a man and would be looking over his preference list let us consider that w is the highest ranked woman in m's preference list to whom m hasn't proposed yet now there can be two conditions with respect to w either she is free or either she is engaged to someone else consider the situation in which w is free in this situation as w is free m and w would get engaged otherwise let us consider that w is engaged to someone else say m dash now we would have to look over w's preference list if she prefers m to m dash she would get engaged to m and would dump m dash else m will remain free at the end of the algorithm we would get a set s or the matching s of engaged pairs now to get a visualization of how gale shapely algorithm work let us consider these preference lists the above one give the preference list of the men and the lower one gives the preference list of the women now let us begin according to the preference list victor first proposes to bertha and bertha being initially free accepts victor's proposal now what proposes to diana diana is currently free and would be accepting what's proposal now xavier would be proposing to bertha but bertha is already engaged to victor now we would have to look over the preference list of bertha as xavier is on a higher priority as compared to victor bertha would dump victor and would accept xavier's proposal and because of this victor would now be free now victor would move on to the next girl on his preference list that is amy he would propose to amy and amy being unpaired at the moment would accept victor's proposal now we move on to yancy yancy would propose the first girl on his preference list that is amy but amy is already engaged to victor so we would have to check amy's preference list on amy's preference list victor has a higher priority as compared to yancy and thus amy would reject the proposal of yancy yancy would now move on to the second person on his preference list that is diane as diane is already paired up with ward we would have to look over diane's preference list on diane's preference list yancy is on a higher priority as compared to ward and as such diane would be dumping ward and would be accepting yancy's proposal ward is now free ward will now propose bertha and as bertha is already engaged we would look over her preference list to which we see that bertha is already paired up with xavier who is the highest on her priority list so she would reject what what would now move on to the next girl on his list that is amy the same case happens with amy and amy rejects what's proposal what will now move on to the next girl that is claire and claire being unpaired till now would accept what's proposal and thus would be paired up with what now zeus proposes to the first girl on his preference list that is bertha but bertha is already paired up and she prefers xavier over zeus so she would reject zeus proposal zeus will now move on to diane who is already paired up with yancy but zeus is on a higher priority as compared to yancy on diane's preference list thus diane would dump yancy and would be paired up with zeus now yancy is again unpaired now yancy would move on to the next girl on his preference list that is clear but clear rejects yancy as she prefers what over yancy thus yancy now proposes to bertha who also rejects him 
as she prefers Xavier over him. Now Yancy proposes to the last girl on his preference list, that is Erika, who is unpaired till now and thus accepts Yancy's proposal. Now we can see that each and every man and woman are paired up and no one is paired up to more than one person of the opposite gender. Victor is paired up with Amy, Watt is paired up with Claire, Xavier is paired up with Bertha, Yancy is paired up with Erica, and Zeus is paired up with Diana. After this, the stable matching algorithm stops. Now let us see the implementation of the Kaelin Shapley algorithm in C programming language. The C program for implementation of the Gale and Shapley algorithm is as shown. There are some global variables declared which have their description as follows. Mij would denote the jth woman on ith man's priority list. Women Ij would be denoting jth man on ith woman's priority list. M mark I would be talking if a man is free or not. Wci would be talking if a woman is free or not. And MCI would be telling about the woman who is paired with ith man. The next, we have a function called w prefers m over m1, which takes in four inputs and would check if the woman w would prefer another partner to her current partner. The next program that we have here is the stable marriage program. This is the program that creates the stable pairs we need. Next, we have the main function. The main function would first be taking in the value of men and women. Then it would be taking in the women's preference list. After that, the men's preference list. After this, it would be printing the preference list of men and women. After this, we would be calling the stable marriage function, which will provide us with the stable set. After this, we would be printing the stable matchings that we have found in the program. And that is the end of our program. Now let us see what happens when we run the program. Now it asks us for the value of men and women. Let us say it is 4. It asks for the first preference of first woman, say 2. The second preference of the first woman, say 1. The third preference of the first woman, 3. The fourth preference of the first woman, say 4. The first preference of second woman, say 3. The second preference of the second woman, say 4. The third preference of second woman, 2. The fourth preference of first woman, 1. The first preference of the third woman, 2. The second preference of the third woman, 3. The third preference of the third woman, 1. The fourth preference of the third woman, 4. Now, the first preference of the fourth woman, 3. The second preference of the fourth woman, 2. The third preference of the fourth woman, 4. And the fourth preference of the fourth woman, 1. Now, it asks us for the man's preference list. First preference of first man, 2. Second preference of first man, 3. Third preference of first man, 4. Fourth preference of first man, 1. The first preference of second man, 1. The second preference of second man, 2. The third preference of second man, 4. And the fourth preference of second man, 3. Now, for the third man, the first preference, 2. The second preference, 1. The third preference, 4. The fourth preference, 3. For the fourth man, the first preference, let it be 3. The second preference, let it be 4. The third preference being 2 and the fourth preference being 1. As you can see, it displays the woman's preference list and the man's preference list. And at the end, it displays the stable matching pairs that we have found. We can work up in the same way as we worked in the visual example part. And we would come across the same matching pairs. Well guys, that's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.